Welcome to the History Hunter, welcome to my small adventures with the World War II time frame. Hope you're all well. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can support me in any way you like, watch more of my videos, check out the ads, or you become a Patreon and PayPal supporter. And then that way you can take part in my beautiful World War II diorama draws every month that I do for my supporters. Also bear in mind, when I recorded this video, I actually had both pneumonia and uh, Lyme disease at the same time without actually even knowing it. So that's why you hear me huff and puff around there up in the mountainside. Well, today we're going to check out the Luftwaffe Dream a little bit more, where a German World War II aircraft uh, crash site is. I managed to kind of uh, spool together and rewind and research and do some stuff to find this place. And it has really proven to be a fantastic and remarkable location. You can see more of my other videos from this. Uh, see if I can put some links in the description. Other than that, you can just check them out as Luftwaffe uh, World War II crash site, something like that. Today, it's all about the incredible item. Um, I don't know what more to call it because I don't want to tell you exactly what it is yet. But it's one heck of an item, once in a lifetime find, at least for me. Probably will be forever. So let's go out there, check out what history decides to share with us here today. Enjoy it. And as I said, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever it takes to support my work. And I can continue doing what you see here. But let's go out there, share history together, and see what today is all about. Absolutely insane. Look at that weather. Yesterday there were, it was snowing, blowing sideways and a lot of snow. Today it's perfect, dry, and absolutely just a fairy tale condition for doing this kind of thing that we're gonna do today. Look at that, that is ice. I kid you not, it's quite cold actually, but the sun is heating up everything very rapidly, so uh, Hopefully it's gonna be a nice day. You can see here, the spring is sort of being delayed. That suits me perfectly because when this grass starts to grow, it's impossible to get through it with the detector and for digging. So uh, spring is sort of uh, delayed for about two to three weeks now and that's perfect. That, my dear friends, is a snowball and I'll mail this one to the first person who can say World War II ten times after each other. Ha! I knew you couldn't, so I have to stay here. So, welcome to hell. This is my goal for today. Absolutely total chaos mayhem and boggy soft soil. And looking for the elusive engine. Probably never find anything whatsoever down here. I'm gonna do it, do it and uh, do my best. Oh, this is a major uh, task. <sighs> Running around like an idiot here. <laughs> Got nothing to go on, it's just soft boggy land. I'm sinking in, I'm getting wet in my boots. I don't have rubber boots. I'm probably gonna be totally wet before the day is finished. But there's not a signal. Been at it for half an hour, nothing. Oh my god, what am I doing? Um, I have a photo of a uh, from a German Luftwaffe officer and he has actually taken seven photos from the area here and when you see the photos there is not a three, no threes at all. So this is really annoying. I really don't know where to go compared to the straight line from the aircraft. The aircraft is over there and 
oh, was fallen down from the top and this is the area where I think the engine could be in. Oh, what a pain in the butt. So now we're back in Winterland. This is the diversity of metal detecting at this spot. It's totally covered with snow because the sun can't take it. So very cool effect. And then going into the sunshine where there's about eight, nine degrees now. <laughs> Amazing. Got a very, very, very weak single hair on the snow. I barely feel that there is something there. My first signal, but it says, what does it say? 30, 35 inches? Are you mad? Oh my God. All right, let's take that. Absolutely nothing there, but a big chunk of something here. And to me, oh my God. That really looks like an aircraft part. Ah, it has to be, look at that thick. And ladies and gentlemen, meine Damen und Herren, this place is about 600 meters away from the air crash, uh, the crash site. And I'm positive that this is a aircraft port. I'm 100% sure. Let's see if I can clean it a little bit. I just have to get out from the snow here. It's so cold. First signal, could I be on the right track here? I really, really hope so. Yeehaw, and a small holy Madonna moment. Look at that. See it rivets? Confirmation number one, it's an aircraft part. And number two, it's in the right, right path of where I was supposed to expect things to come up at the end of where the engine and maybe some other pieces come, came down. So, unbelievable. I was actually very right about my assumption or way of thinking and that pleases me a lot. Wow, took that piece into the shadow here so you can see it. Look at that, that is probably one of the biggest pieces I've found so far. It's huge, it's like half a square meter or something. Lots of reinforcement things going on here. And it's got rivets, got some of the original colors. I don't know whether this is on the outside, on the inside, but it's got a very, very special detail that I'm gonna share with you right here. And that is on that thing. That's a cable bracket holder. There you go. Nachbau Lange, producer code on that bracket. That is insane. So we have the confirmation. Not that I didn't have it before, but this is definitely once again, taking you into the shadow here because the sun is so strong. That for me, that is a very long high tensile stud going through some important uh, parts on what I think is the engine. And history is just barely letting us in. Uh, we are knocking on its door very politely and so far it's been rewarding us with things like that. What do you say, girls and guys out there? This is quite exciting, huh? We're sort of looking for this engine together and we're actually finding stuff. Amazing. Just next to the very soft land there. And I'm getting signals after signals with stuff like that. That is another heavy duty, looks like melted, crashed, corroded, uh, aluminium, lightweight, magnesium part. Wow. So just around here, the uh, boggy land is over there, and this is just the rim inside of the boggy land, and a lot of things coming up. Look at this. Something there. There. Something there. Things absolutely everywhere. Either a large piece. A lot of small pieces, so where do I start? <laughs> it's like some of them, and they're all aircraft related. Look at that, that's a chunky big piece. And it's very, very corroded. But that leads me to think that there could be a major hit right here. One big hole all the way down there. 
See if I can get the camera to change so you can see it. So I see, look there. Looks like a beautiful pot with a lot of paint. And it looks like it's quite big. Could be a support panel for something. But it looks like it's got a lot of the nice paint still there. So, wow, I'm gonna get that. Okay, this piece is massive, but I thought I just want to share with you uh, some impressions here before I take it out of the ground. Trying to put as much shadow as I can on it so you can see it, but it's huge. Look at that. This is my digging tool, Black Ada. It's about 80 centimeter long, and it covers that and goes all the way in there. And there you go, you got this thing on the front there. Looks like the profile of a wing if you ask me, but who knows. These two features here, that, that one, that one, and this sort of reinforcement bracket plate, whatever. It's down here as well. And one screw hole thing there, one there. And it keeps on going in there. It's got a feature there with a round sort of thing here. Wow, this is one of my most exciting moments and it definitely deserves a mighty big holy Madonna. And I uh, hope you're enjoying this as much as I do and uh, I'm hoping to be able to get that thing out of here. I'm getting cramped up in my legs and my knees and everything so I'm not sure whether I'll be able to do this today.